What up my people, it's your girl coming at ya. Please enjoy the natural Bermuda evening sound of crickets. And today I am going to show you guys how to make your very own shea butter lotion, whip shea butter lotion, whip shea butter. If you've been with my channel for a minute, you know that I did a video similar to this a few months ago, maybe even a year ago. The only difference is, is that with that shea butter, I was making it to use for my skin and my hair, but honestly, I never even used it for my skin. I use it more for my hair, obviously. So, this particular video, I'm making a shea butter that I'm going to specifically use for my skin. And you guys, I know I'm all about my natural products because they're just the best and the bomb diggity. For hair and skin and all its needs and necessities and blah blah blah. So of course you know I gotta let you know why shea butter is good for the skin. So let's do it. Okay, so first and foremost, you know that shea butter is a good moisturizer and you know I'm all about that moisture okay just like our hair needs moisture our skin needs moisture and I know that winter is pretty much over and summer is right around the corner but that don't mean stop putting on lotion if anything you need to start putting it on more because you know the shorts are about to come out we're about to start wearing our tank tops and crop tops and we can't be looking sexy and fine and talking about our skin is all cracked up and crusty and dry i'm her to help you all boo i i got you second of all shea butter also has healing properties in it and i probably also mentioned this in my previous video but just in case you forgot or if you're newly subscribed to my channel you know i don't mind repeating the shea butter aids in blemishes, wrinkles, it helps fade stretch marks and it also helps with stretch mark prevention when you're pregnant or you feel yourself gaining weight. I can attest to that. So my car just got full out of nowhere and it stopped recording and I can't remember where I left off. But anyway, let's do this. So shea butter helps with dry skin, skin rash, skin peeling. Uh, blemishes, wrinkles, itching skin, sunburn, and that happens to me like twice a summer. Not nice. Skin wounds, skin cracks, tough or rough skin on feet, cold weather, frost bites, insect bites, <laughs> like mosquitoes, <laughs> muscle fatigue, skin damage from heat, like hot grease while cooking, radiation treatment for certain medical problems, etc. So there's just a multiplicity of reasons why shea butter is just amazing for the skin. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, I have my boiling water on deck and I have the temperature on low so that it's not boiling all over the place. And I'm gonna take my Spectrum Organic Virgin Coconut Oil Unrefined. And you always wanna make sure that your coconut oil is unrefined because that's how you know it's in its most natural state. I'm gonna take however much I feel I need, not too much, because obviously coconut oil is very oily and a little bit goes an extremely long way. And by the way, I'm putting all of my ingredients in a glass bowl. And whether or not you use heat, you always wanna make sure that when you're making like natural products, always use glassware because you don't want the particles from plastic there to get into your ingredients. So glass or metal, gotta use them, fun fact. So now I'm gonna get my African shea butter and I'm using the white chunky kind. I heard that the yellow shea butter isn't really all that great. So here I am just showing you what it looks like and I'm gonna dump it all into the glass bowl right after I melt my coconut oil.
So after the shea butter mixture was completely melted guys, I put it in the freezer for half an hour and this is what it looks like now. It looks disgusting but anyway, forgive my ignorance but I completely forgot the proper name for these things but for now I'm going to call it a single handed mixer thingy and this is what I'm going to use to whip up the shea butter mixture. Okay guys, so I definitely forgot to film the footage of me putting two tablespoons of cornstarch into my mixture and I did that just so that my lotion isn't so oily from the coconut oil and also, of course, if you didn't know, cornstarch is amazing for the skin, it's an excellent deodorizer and it also helps with many skin problems but we'll get into that in another video. So as you can see, I'm just putting a plastic bag into a cup so that I can put my mixture in there and then I can neatly put it into a mason jar. So I hope that you enjoyed that video guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it helps my videos out greatly. And also leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you saw my previous video. Let me know if you like this mixture. Let me know if you try it out. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces!